Tonight's game is brought to you in high definition on Comcast Channel 664 in Denver. Check your local listings for the HD channel in your area. Glad you're long. Rockies again won the afternoon affair by a count of three to one over Grady Little's Los Angeles Dodgers. And here's the lineup this evening for Grady Little, brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Juan Pierre is, of course, in center field. He's leading things off. Rafael Fercal has some stiffness in his back. Had to leave the first ball game, sitting this one out. Tony Abreu is at second base in the two hole. Then Matt Kemp, the veteran Luis Gonzalez, Nomar Garcia Parra, James Loney is in the six hole. Then uh, Ramon Martinez for Fercal at shortstop. Mike Lieberthal, the former Phillies, behind the plate. Redmond's first pitch of the ball game is outside ball one 72 degrees ideal evening conditions here on september the 18th and this is going to be well it's going to be a tough play no play now once redmond whiffed on it he had no chance and i'm sure pierre will tell you it's easier to steal third against the lefty than his second he started to go there there's a base hit it's going to be one nothing la so they manufacture a run the speed of Pierre playing a factor, even though he didn't steal a base, he fought, forced a balk from Redmond. And the Dodgers have the early lead. Abreu's 11th RBI. And when they score first this year, LA's 54 and 14. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Camp at the plate. Broken bat to center field. Ryan Spielborgs is out there, and that is out number one. Let's check the rest of the gloves. In this evening's contest, Holiday will be in left. Spielborgs and Baker are the other two outfielders. Atkins, Tulowitzki, Carroll at second against the lefty. Helton, of course, at first, and Chris Ionetta behind the plate. Gonzo hits it high in the air to right field, and this one is going to get out. And now the Rockies have a significant deficit, three to nothing. Gonzo's 15th of the year. Well, the worst part about it, Wells has pitched extremely well for the Dodgers. Change up, going to get him out in front of it. And that'll be able to handle it for the second out of the inning here. Here's James Loney. And he's got a little comeback. Here. In the first, the Dodgers score three times on three hits. Luis Gonzalez with his 15th home run. 3-0 L.A. Three nothing L.A. Rockies won the opening game of this day night doubleheader by a score of three to one. Clint Hurdle's club six games over 500. With a dozen left. And tonight's starting lineup for Mr. Hurdle. Brought to you by Southwest.com. Jamie Carroll lead off the Troy Tulowitzki, Matt Holiday, Todd Helton, Garrett Atkins. Spielborgs will be in the six hole. Baker seven. He swung the bat well the last few days. Chris Ionetta eight. And then the pitcher, Mark Redmond. And here's Jamie Carroll. And the 2 2 slowly hit the short. Carroll may have a chance for an infield hit. He will. So just as Juan Pierre got an infield hit to begin things, Jamie Carroll with the slow roller toward Ramon Martinez. Tulowitzki was 0 for 3 in the first ball game. He had two line drives right at people. This is a line drive toward the gap in right center field, and it's going to touch down and hop off the wall. Jamie Carroll around third gets a green light, and here's the throw to the plate. It's way offline. And a run scoring double from Troy Tulowitzki, and the Rockies are now down just two. This ball to the gap in left center field. It's going to be a 3 2 game. Here comes Tulowitzki. It'll go all the way to the wall. Holiday to second base. Back to back doubles. And here come the Rockies. At that time of the year, big players come up in big situations. Holiday with an RBI is. 123rd in the first ball game, now 124 for Matt Holiday after this double. You know, 211 of those wins have come in the American League. Holiday is out trying to cross over in front of the baseball. Base hit right field. Todd will stop at second out of respect for Matt Kemp's arm. 
And that'll bring up Ryan Spielborgs. That is the Rockies' fourth hit in the inning. Spielborgs at 296, 10 home runs. He's driven in 46. And he hits this ball in the air to right center field. It's going to hold up for Kemp to get there. No, he won't. Wow, Kemp. That's a ground rule double. It's going to tie up the game as Helton comes home. And Atkins stops at third. George, that was the strangest route I've seen. I mean, Kemp was just kind of jogging in that direction as if he had it the whole way. Well, the one thing you've got to recognize about Ryan Spielborg's, his power is to right center. It's not a pull power. Tied at three, Atkins at third, Spielborg's at second. The Rockies have five hits here in the bottom of the first. And Baker hits it in the air to shallow right. Tough to score on this. And they're not going to send it. Well, you know what? With that arm, you don't. Just yeah. take the chance with it. You know, you already got a tied game. You got second, third. Ionetta coming up. Might get a base hit. Yeah. You want to play smart, smart baseball and go to Redmond, the left-handed hitter versus a left-handed pitcher, a guy that doesn't swing the bat. But you know that he belongs here and it he can have success here, and I think he's there. Uh, Swinging bunt, Wells jumps on it, and he'll throw to first. So the Dodgers got three in the first, and the Rockies came right back to tie it up in the bottom half. Three-three as we move on, inning number two. Three for L.A., three for Colorado as we go to the top of the second inning. The Rockies won the afternoon affair three to one. Ground ball up the middle to Lewitsky. Can he get Martinez? Sure he can. So you need those kind of plays made behind Redmond to help carry him through a couple of innings, get some confidence, make some pitches. He hasn't made an error in about four months. This is routine for Tulowitzki. Yeah, but he doesn't throw out routine. That's why he's in the middle of the chest. You watch his feet, you watch the arm, you watch it all work together, and it's going to cost you. I mean, you end up throwing it in the seats. How about this? Hey, it's a major league record. He had all three. Ties a major league record. Doug, mark it. I've only seen that one other time, George. How about that? You never know what you're going to see when you come to the ball yard, huh? 3-3 as we go to the bottom of the second inning. The Rockies hit around in the first inning, so it'll be the top of the order. Jamie Carroll to face David Wells. On the ground, and Martinez, tough chance, and Carroll safe. He's not on the ground to third, and they'll give one, and that's it. Swung on a miss, runners going, and it's a strike them out, throw them out. Rockies three, the Dodgers three. It is scoreboard watching time around baseball. The Cubs lead the Brew Crew by one. You can remove the Cardinals now. This may be another infield hit. It will be. One and hit the ball 80 feet, George. He's got two hits. Yep. Dodgers and Rockies four and a half five and a half back that that's tough but the Padres now they're thinking win the division well it's tough but it's not something you can't overcome because that's who you're playing for the next 12 days I mean you know you got to go out and go 10 and 2 to do it maybe even 11 and 1 I, yeah, mean, I mean you know you got to yeah. go kick some butt but the, the point is it's there pretty sizable lead got a little bit of a lean work in there also Ground ball, right side. Carroll's going to have one play. Yeah. Jamie did a nice job with the hands, George. He, he's moving, and he got an in-between hop. In their losses, he's hitting just 218. This ball powdered to center field. Spielborg's going back, still going back. He won't get there. Dodgers will retake the lead 4-3 to three on a double by Matt Kemp. And here's a base hit. Coming quickly is Baker to the baseball. Here's Kemp to the plate, and... Kemp puts the brakes on halfway, and that was a perfect throw from the converted third baseman, Jeff Baker, to the plate. Now, hopefully, that's a big play in the inning. Garcia Parra pops it up in the infield. An enormous out there. Yeah, look how far he's starting to cheat up, too. I mean, see, he's moved up into the plate to try to get out front to get a hold of the changeup. Redmond came back with it on a 3-2 count, and it just wasn't there. In the air to left field. And Redmond's going to get out of it without any further damage. 
Dodgers do score a run to take a 4-3 lead on the double by Matt Kemp, but it could have been worse. Todd Helton will lead it off for the Rockies, then Atkins and Spielboards. Todd Helton will lead it off, line drive center field right at Juan Pierre. Can't hit it any harder. Garrett to right center field, got under this a little bit. You know, the hazards of having a guy that can fly in center field like Pierre, well, that's all right. He understands. It's not first. That ball's crushed. Yeah, Juan's got to go back. But, hey, Juan has just uh, set a major league record. Major league record oh, tonight. He tied it. Did they give me a, Yeah, they gave it to him. Yeah, right, but I he tied it. He tied the record he of tied, Tula Whiskey. Yeah, yeah. He tied Tula Whiskey in the record right. book tonight. Clint's going to argue this for David bit, Wells. Nah, uh, he, he had it. 4-3 LA. The purchase of a newer used vehicle from Freeway Ford in Longmont Ford. Long fly balls, those are nice here. For more information, go to carskids.com or cheaperfords.com. Three by Pierre and one by him. No, I didn't realize that. Uh, well, see, enough. Wells would have done it. And in his eyes, the umpire missed it. And Helton says, all right, I'm the linebacker. You're done. Good inning for Redmond. 4-3 Los Angeles. Drew Goodman, George Frazier, Coors Field tonight. And Jeff Baker hits it high in the air to right field. And Matt Kemp just waiting. Chris Ionetta. And he hits it on one hop at Martinez. You, see, you know, you're about to get what Wells has been given to Dodgers. Five innings done. Basically, one and two-thirds. That's after 30 in the first inning. To left field. He's going to have 10 pitches in two innings. That ties the record. We go to the fifth inning. The Dodgers lead the Rockies 4 3. Look where. Look Are where, you where, kidding me? <laughs> Soft fly ball out the holiday. Look where the bat broke and where the ball was contacted. That was you know, I saw that once before, but it was Jim Rice and was on a check swing and he snapped. I don't like to remember things like that, but yes. Yeah, he hit two monster shots. This is on the line of right center field. And cutting it off is Baker. Here's Kemp. Nice job. Wide turn. Nice job by Baker. It's going to be a lot of fun in the last 10 days. Short left center. Holiday is there. Nomar hits the first ball to second. And a solid fifth inning for Mark Redmond. So he settled in. See the Rockies can get after David Wells when we come back to Coors Field. 4-3 L.A. Because of a hamstring, that would be a huge loss. All-star pitcher that had been out for a while with the torn ligament in his finger. He's always got something. Right out at the very end, there's a lot of big, see that big push? Pull whiskey, another base hit back up the middle. Wells probably felt like he should have caught that ball. Tying run at first. This ball crushed deep left center field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. And the Rockies jump on top. 5-4. For Matt Holliday, his 100th career home run. Nice time for it. 33rd of the year, RBIs, 125 and 126. What a season is he having. 5-4 Colorado. Martinez throws out Hilton. Okay, yep. now can he do it? when it's crunch time. Now can he do it on an upper division team? Now can a player do it in September when you when you have to win games, when they're pressure situations? And the emphatic answer to that question for Matt Holiday this year is yes. And it's over, folks. 33 home runs, 126 RBIs. What more do you want out of this guy? The Rockies lead it 5-4 to four behind Holiday. 5-4 Colorado, Matt Holiday's two-run blast, and it was a blast. Uh, at Coors Field, it's been a while, I'll put it that way. Uh-oh, this ball hit well to right center field by Loney off Herges, and he's just tied it up. James Loney, talk about a young player who's been carrying his club. 
That's Loney and the Dodgers, and it's 5-5 as Loney greets Matt Hurgis with a home run. He's just been outstanding. You know, he came here, wanted that opportunity to get back again, back-to-back -back base hits. Throw to second, ball four. Clint's not going to hesitate at all to go down and get Affelt in the seventh and eighth inning. If you happen to tie it back up, you don't have him there in the backside. Shallow right field. Here comes Baker. He's going to get their chance for two. Great jump. Here's the 2 2. Good job by Chulowitzki. Tony Abreu. And Abreu lines it toward the gap in right center. Holiday can't get it. Abreu is going to clear the bases. And he's going to end up with a triple. So Affel able to get the first two. And then it's Tony Abreu who doubles in two. And it's 7 5 LA. The teams that end up in the postseason, they find a way, as that's strike three, to win more often than not in September. And the Rockies are in that process right now, and they're going to have to come back because they're down 7-5 in the sixth inning to Los Angeles. Ryan Spielborgs will lead it off. You know what? The other guys have stepped up, and, and the Rockies have stayed in contention. Well, the last 10 days, the Rockies have really uh, swung the bats well. A soft fly ball to center field. They have swung the bat well. They're scoring the, the runs. And here, here's something for you. With the last nine games without Tavares, and without Matt Suey, speed at the top of the lineup, which gives you a whole other dimension. Everybody's, you know, we are, our big guys were healthy. Viola, Bly Levin, reared and closed. I mean, everybody stayed pretty healthy through that whole season. And a base hit for Ian Edel. Well, he stayed on that hook good. I mean, there was no ba backward tilt to the upper half of the body, no, no fade off of the feet. I encourage that. Why we not? That, break Why the window, not? good deal, right? Absolutely. Good That's move. why they made more. This ball up the middle, and Martinez cuts it off. For the first. Safe. Yeah, safe. Good job it. by Stewart. I don't think he realized no. that Stewart runs pretty well. Here we go. Three and two. Curveball, and it's chipped to left field. Near the line, the catch is made by Luis Gonzalez. And that ends the threat for the Rockies. Six complete. The Dodgers holding a 7-5 lead at Coors Field. Game summary it was 3-3 in the third inning, and then Matt Kemp doubled over Ryan Spielborg's head to give the Dodgers a 4-3 lead. But that was a race in the fifth inning. David Wells to Matt Holliday with the man aboard, and he hit it seven miles. 5-4 Colorado. That didn't last long. Gets Matt Hurgis, James Loney hit a 2-0 pitch out. And then with two outs and two on, Tony Abreu would double off Jeremy Affelt to give the Dodgers a 7-5 lead. And that's the lead they enjoy right now as we go to the seventh inning. 2-0 on the ground to help. And Todd will race to the bag. One out. 2-2. Two -two. That's a good piece of hitting because that was a good slider in a good location, and Nomar is going to get a base hit out of it. Ground ball to short. Chance for two. Double play. Nice turn by Omar Quintanilla. Stretch time at Coors Field. The Rockies trailing the Dodgers 7-5. Strike three on the outside corner. Jim Reynolds rings up Troy Tulowitzki, and here comes Clint Hurdle, because Tulowitzki wanted an explanation, and Hurdle, more than anything, wants to make sure he keeps the shortstop in the game. Matt Holliday with the Rockies down four to three, not for long. Matt Holliday crushes this one to left center field over 440 feet. He's right in that angle every time. 
Up the middle, base hit for Holiday. Good breaking ball hitter. People don't realize this about Matt Holiday. He may be one of the top five breaking ball hitters in the game of baseball today. 7-5 Los Angeles. Holiday's third hit of the night. This is where that chess match starts with Grady Little, and it starts with uh, Clint Hurdle. We ended pretty quick on one swing, two hopper to second, a double play. Pretty good move by Grady Little as it turned out. 7-5 LA, we move to the eighth. Another inning of work for Jorge Julio, and he's got strike one on Ramon Martinez. Eighth inning. Exceed that total. And, and the nice part about it, you have Francis four more years, basically. Matt Holiday with his three hits tonight. This is up to date. He's at 337. Chipper Jones, who began the day four points ahead, as this has hit the center field deep. And it's gone. Russell Martin off the bench hits a solo home run to make it eight to five. His 18th home run of the year for Martin now, 85 RBIs. You say Padre a couple times. Yep. Sweeney comes up. He pinched in earlier today at a deep fly ball to left center field that caught in the eighth inning. And he'll fly out here against Julio on the very first pitch. And he's pitched all over the globe since. This is fisted down the left field line. Holiday trying to get to it in a hurry, but Pierre is going to have a double. 8 5 LA. Just to finish the uh, batting race story, Holiday is tied Chipper Jones right now at 337 for the uh, batting lead in the National League. He could care less about that right now. All he can think about is there's six outs left to get this thing even. Back at Coors Field, eight to five. There, you got to fit the rally cap even on the pooch. Well, uh, wait a minute. Are you going to put it on the dog? You got to do it yourself. You can't just stick it on the dog. He doesn't have his on. So, I mean, come on, flip over. Let's go. See, so kind of takes that breath, lets his shoulders drop. Ball's hit well. Pierre, whoop, he thought about coming in, trying to make a diving catch, and realized it gets by him. You're thinking, too. Smart play by Pierre. And this ball's hit well, right center field. Pierre looking up. This is gone. Two run right shot from Ryan Spillboards. Who says you can't hit him out against Broxton? It's a one run ball game. For Spielboards, his 11th of the year. Well, even the best laid plans by a manager can get whacked any time, and it just did. And Corey swung the bat well, coming off of the bench as a pinch hit. Hard down the line, Garcia Parra comes up with it. Great play. And he throws out Sullivan. So Nomar robs Corey Sullivan of probably a double. Takashi Saito. Yeah, they won't be afraid to get four outs with him either if they have to. Did he hold up? Nope. Brian Knight rings him up, and Brad Hopp is the second out of the inning. Yep, the dog's owner. Somebody called him on the cell phone said, all right, going to stick it on the dog. Frazier's ripping you up in the booth. Get yours on. See, it worked. Okay. Rally hat's one thing. Rally monkey is a whole nother deal. Broxton strikes out Hop and Tori Alba, but in the inning, Ryan Spielboards tightens things up. A two-run home run to right center. One of the few Broxton has allowed in his career. And the new pitcher in the ninth inning is Ryan Spire. He's the fifth pitcher utilized tonight by Clint Hurdle. There's one of them. Hard sinker down and in, able to get the ground ball out. Pretty good numbers when you start to look that up. Fly ball to center, Sullivan will be able to handle it. In front of 25,370 people and one dog. 
bit of odd delivery. Throws away across the body. Difficult on right-handers. Hang up and play catch with Corey. He did it. Yeah, he was hit hard, but right at Sullivan. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth inning. The Dodgers have an 8-7 lead. The Rockies left a rally against one of the game's best closers, Takashi Saito. And on the hill, Takashi Saito. He's been asked to close a ball game 50 times since coming from Japan for the L.A. Dodgers. He's been successful 47 times. George, that is the greatest save percentage, 94%, after 50 opportunities in the history of the statistic. The Rockies 0 for 14, 0 for 14 in 07. They don't have a hit against them. His save percentage this year, 39 of 42, 93 percent third in baseball behind J.J. Putz and Jason Isingringhausen. And this a bullet that he didn't catch, but now he's going to go to first. That may have been the Rockies' best opportunity for a hit against them all year. How about that, huh? Strike three on the outside yep. corner. Two outs, nobody on. Matt Holiday, three hits tonight, including a run scoring double and a two run homer. Can he do it again? Base hit the other way. The Rockies' first hit against Saito this year. They're now one for 17. And you got, you're getting the right guys. I mean, you know, this is a part of the lineup that you want, Holiday. Fifth four on. hit ball game, by the way, this year <laughs> yeah. for Holiday. Fifth. I mean, Elton tonight is 0 for 4. And he owns more home runs against the Dodgers than any team in the National League. Breaking pitch for a strike. Eight seven LA. Martin sets up away. And the hard sinker is down. But he, he continues to pound to his strengths to get people out. I mean, he doesn't shift away from it. Boy, help. He had got a one drop there. and drive on that swing, yep. didn't he? He got one there. I mean, it, it, and Todd, you know, had that shot at it. That's an out of control swing that if he makes contact, solid contact, some people a long way from home plate's going to get a souvenir. One and two. Holiday at first. Todd drives one high and deep right field. Get up and get out. Helton has done it. The Rockies win it. Todd Helton, the walk-off two-run shot. Colorado has swept the Dodgers. Eighth time on a walk-off win for the Rockies this year. Nobody's enjoyed it more than that guy. How about that? <laughs> On a one-two pitch, Todd Helton with a no-doubter. He knew he got it. If he'd talk about himself or talk about the team right now, he'd say, don't bury us just yet. All with two outs. Four runs <laughs> off of Broxton and Saito in the last two innings, and the Rockies come all the way back at his second curtain call in the last 48 hours. 9-8, Colorado wins it. Down to the floor of the stadium we go. Todd Helton with the headset on. Todd, I'm about speechless. Congratulations, Thank man. You. That was special. Yeah, I don't get no better than that. It doesn't. One, two pitch. Are, are you thinking location? You always protect well with two strikes. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm just trying to protect right there. And he kind of left a breaking ball uh, middle in right there. Todd, you waited 10 years for this feeling in September to, to hit something that matters. I know it's got to feel great. Oh, uh, you can't put into words. You can't describe uh, the feeling when, when you do something like that. And, we're able to win, win a big ball game right there. Yeah, Todd, you know how tough, uh, better than anybody, certainly better than us up here, how tough Broxton is, yeah. how tough Saito is. I don't, I don't know if you're aware, prior to the base hit by Maddie, you had not had a hit against Saito as a team all year. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a tough pitcher. He locates uh, the ball very well, and 
We were lucky to uh, to get the win right there. You see the motivation out of this ball club to win two today against the club you're chasing, and this carries over to tomorrow. Regardless of what a lot of people say, momentum's a wonderful thing in a locker room. There's no doubt about it. Momentum's huge, and hopefully we can carry this over to tomorrow. Hey, Todd, last one. Have you had more fun playing the game? Uh, no. <laughs> hey, enjoy this one. Congratulations. That was a blast to watch.